Hello everyone, welcome back into the Take Care Man channel. My beautiful wife, Carla, and my beautiful daughter, Margie, and she has a YouTube channel. The name of your YouTube channel is That Strawberry Blonde. Uh, check out her link below. If you have daughters. Well, yeah, or, or wives, like it's a lifestyle blog, right? You have teenage daughters. Is that your demographic? There's a lot of old Once Upon a Time videos at the TV show, but now it's more lifestyle, like health and what's your niche? Okay, so welcome wet shavers. You're used to Sterling Soap Company and their shaving soaps, their aftershaves, witch hazels, etc, etc. I use Sterling every day and every, every night. Use it on my el my Oh yeah, you're talking about the, yeah, that's your elbow. That's my elbow. Yeah, you're talking about the, you talking about the, uh, and my heels. You're talking about the, uh, shea butter. And we have used, an assortment of Sterling just kind of yeah. all over the place. But we're trying something new from Sterling. It's their coffee. Uh, Sterling Coffee Roasters. And we've got a sample, or five bags of samples here. I'll put the names up on the screen as we sample each, where they're kind of blind to us right now. We know which cupping bowl is which, uh, but we can't see the front of the bag right now, so we're not sure what the names are of each uh, cup. So we did this in the cupping method. We're noobs to this. But, so we uh, ground the coffee uh, to setting, I think we did setting eight on the Baratza uh, Encore and we used kettle and poured the water over it. We measured out our coffee, 8.3 grams of coffee to 150 grams of water. So we uh, scaled, scaled those out, stirred it, skimmed off the top. We did the whole cupping method. So now we're ready to, to taste. So we're each gonna have a spoon and you're supposed to slurp it in so that you get air in with it. It's supposed to help you taste, all right? Like soup, so here we go. Now, what we have to say here is I, I drank black coffee. Neither one of you drink black coffee. Yeah, so this I is... Mean, but we both do creamer. drink... Old, I could steep uh, the milk. I just need my almond. Get a little bit off the top. What am I doing? I'm sticking it. You're tasting stuff and just, if there's anything, just whatever. So I'm like put number one. It's just because it's black coffee you're not well, used to. It's not because it's bad, it's because it's... This is not, this is probably not the best video to collab on. Okay, so... And it's cold. You want to start with this one? Yeah, it is cold. We'll oh, heat this them is up. the second one? Yeah, but we still we can't stir them because... What are you doing? So part of what you think of it is like if you taste any notes, like if it reminds you of chocolate or oranges or galoshes or... Galoshes? That's shoes. I feel like I'm taking cough medicine. <laughs> Oh, I got, oh. <laughs> it felt a little similar to the first one. Yeah. No. But not, uh, there's one note. Okay. Different. Here you go. There's a oh, I'm third one. Good. Yeah, I'm going to. I use more creamer than I do coffee. Okay. I know that. I know that. We will add some cream coffee to your creamer in a little bit. They cooled pretty fast. They did. I'm not doing very good on my notes. Okay. Wait a minute. That oh. one was a little better. Could you show that camera, your, your mom's tasting notes? And yeah, those are tasting notes. <laughs> this is the... Uh, Lavender heel and palm bomb. Okay, you need to change it because it gets rid of those winter bumps. Just haven't had winter bumps. Can you start and use that? Yes. So, there, that's number four. And it just takes a little bit, so it lasts like a really it long time. It does last a long time. I like it a lot, too, because like I usually use it mm. on places that are sort of... What? Are you okay? You'll see. You'll see. Oh, it's different, huh? Mm -hmm. What you're saying? I think it looks... Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh. See? Yeah. See? Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. That's the first one I'm like, yeah. I got, oh. Okay. Y'all are extra. She doesn't understand. You're basic. I like basic. I know you do, and I love that about you. Enneagram. She's a mm. nine. I'm a five. Mm -mm. What's mom? Mm -mm. Oh, she you don't care for that one? Mm -mm. Can you not swallow it? Mm -mm. Oh, that's funny. Okay. All Write right. That down. Yeah, I thought that's that second word you thought too. Can <laughs> you ball, draw a pucker face? <laughs> no. I don't know. Oh, by the way, we had a whole. We had another one of these that was the Colombian. It was really good. Yeah, we we ran out of beans for the espresso machine, so we kind of drank it. So maybe we'll get some other samples. Okay. Okay. Have to have All right. Shot. Here's no, well, 
I'm a big guy. So there's, it's five. I'm trying to avoid that floaty stuff. I'm gonna my feet now. Okay. Are you about to put your foot up on the? <laughs> oh, please don't. Oh, don't. This is a family show. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to. I also need to clear my palate a little bit. Now, last week being here, I did not. Slurp? Not out of the cut. No, 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 don't do that because it's got residue on the side. It'll be super strong and really bitter. Yay. I want to compare a couple real quick. You good? But you want to warm up that first one. No, number three, too. I like number three. Oh, mom likes three best, so let's what? warm three first. And you can bring us the almond creamer. We have a natural bliss almond milk creamer. We could steam some milk on the espresso. We're not going to bring out time for that. There's number five with okay. almond creamer. That was three. That's three. Okay. That's good enough. Same amount of creamer? Roughly. Uh, this That's is three. three. Probably some browns on the bottom, so it's probably getting stronger. Mm. All I taste is creamer. <laughs> I can tell the difference, though. Can you, that. can you warm all these up? Like, you warm I'm glad you said it. One up. I don't know what I'm getting there, but it's good. I don't know how to identify tasting notes that much in coffee yet at all, really. That's oh, smooth though, isn't it? I like, I like how smooth it is. Mm -hmm. Am I good to sit for a while? Yeah. I bet doing espressos out of these are going to be even different, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Can I have Margie's pan? Yes, it's erasable. I'll take mama's. Nobody's with the sink. You're trying to figure out how to open it? Click the... <laughs> Push the uh, clip down. My daughter uh, is now a barista at our bookstore. It's called, it's a chain, Books A Million. It's kind of a southern chain. They have a coffee shop called Joe Muggs. My, my recommendation if you're cupping is after you've uh, stirred and taken the, you know, skim the top, don't wait like a full five minutes for it to cool down like just these are bigger containers maybe if they were filled to the brim it wouldn't have got as cold as fast but it's much better warm obviously but okay i have my two favorites i'm not sure which um what is that drum roll y'all done made a mess I, I have not made a mess okay all right your second favorite oh my second favorite uh -huh. Okay, I think two is my second favorite. Uh, I thought it was similar to number one. Okay, yeah. When I first had it, mm -hmm. warmer. When I first had it, I got a, a note of cherry. Cherry? Yeah, or I guess anything similar to cherry. Uh, but that was upon first taste. But then I, when we had it warm, I got a different taste from it. Yeah. And I couldn't, ex I don't know how to explain what it was, but the word that came to mind was chicory. Yeah. And it kind of reminded me, Mama. It's not her. Continue talking, ignore her. I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of reminded me of Dollywood. Like how Dollywood oh, smells. Oh, like when we go in the fall or when yeah, we used to like go in the fall? Like near the kettle corn and all the... So it was smoky, so it had a smokiness to it. Yeah, but also... Like or a, wood, a woody, sm a woodiness and a smokiness. With the sweetness of the cherry. Uh -huh. What's your second one? My second one. Number three. Number three. What did you think about number three? It was okay. Is that, did it remind you of anything? or Any notes? Like I would drink it in the morning on my way to work. Gotcha, baby. That's perfect. My runner-up was number two as well. Oh, yeah. Um, I, f I felt one, two, and three were very similar, but two had this smoothness to it. Mm -hmm. On both one and three, I got a charred, like almost a bitter charred taste on one and three. Yeah. But two was smooth, right? So that, anyway, that was my, I don't really have any tasting notes other than say smooth uh, on two. 
But it was my second favorite. So what was your first favorite? My first favorite was number five. Number five? Because it brought like what I like in a coffee. Like sweeter, mm -hmm. like how I like how I like Grimaud scents, like Grimaud scents and candles. Mm -hmm. Like that warm, like baked good, like right. I, it was like almost creamier. Okay. Like uh, it was like had warm, like a creamy. toasted, cozy, okay. nutty, vanilla uh, taste. I like those descriptions. <laughs> I've dared to ask for your. What's your most favorite? Number five. Number five. And would your description be you drank it more, even more? <laughs> or what, how would you? It was better than four. It was better. Than four. <laughs> so five was your first place, three was your second place. Mm -hmm. And yours was? Five and two. Five and two. And mine was two and four. Oh. I felt like four was like, you did not care for four, huh? Neither one of y'all care for four? Wow, that's crazy. So four, four to me was fruity and floral. Like I got these, like definitely a fruity, it was much lighter. Like four and five to me were completely different than one, two, and three. Like it was- Really? Yeah. Because I think four- It wasn't as full body, it was like a lighter. Four and one mm -hmm. and three were all very similar. Wow, that's interesting. Well, four was my favorite, so. All right, so. Your second favorite again was what? Three. Three. I mean, no, second favorite was two. Two, and that was also my second favorite. So we like- Oh, that makes so much the sense. The Guatemalan. What are the, that makes so much sense. The uh, notes on it are, it's a medium roast. Uh, berry, pecan, lemon, sweet and smooth. I would like to say the berry, cherry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true, and sweet and smooth, you definitely call the that. The pecan, so your second favorite was number three, right? Yes. All right. Yeah. Was five your favorite too? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh gosh. All right. So Margie's, oh, no, I mean Brazil. Carla's second favorite was Brazil. Mm -hmm. It was almond, cocoa, and tart. That makes so much sense because she likes chocolate. chocolate. So almond, cocoa, chocolate, almond, tart. I didn't get a lot from that. It's the I Brazilian. Think maybe chocolate. if you took the tart out. You'd like it even more? Yes. Okay. All right. So uh, your number one again was what, Mark? Uh, five. Five, which is also your number one, yes. right? So y'all's number one was Ethiopian. Now there's, oh, I happen to know there's two. So I do sick. know that there's two Ethiopians. Oh. One is medium roast and one is light roast. And, and this is interesting. So, <gasps> so here's the thing about roast. I do know this, I think I'm right. Tell me in the comments below if I'm not. But, so you would think a darker roast would have uh, more flavor, right? Well, actually lighter roast has more flavor because it's closer to the green bean, meaning just when it's first picked. I can't look at it. Let me see. So y'all like the medium roast. Here's the notes on it. This is interesting. It's funny because there's cherry in this one. There's chamomile. Which is, I drink chamomile tea You like chamomile night. tea too? I don't. It, it, chamomile tea to me is like eating grass. Uh, coffee, cherry, and then chocolate for five. I think that makes sense with okay. my notes. And, my and then for me, uh, see, I don't even like this fruit that's listed here. I hate this fruit. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's past her bedtime. It she's is. Getting a she's getting a little punch drunk, a little loopy. Um, Ethiopian uh, light roast. This is the chocolate grapefruit notes. And again, these are not Wait, flavored coffees. I this was the dark roast. I thought no, no. Was the light roast. No, no. Y'all's was the dark. That's what I'm saying. Like, or yours is a medium. Mine's oh. light. So y'all's it gets a little bit more of the stuff toasted out of it. Yeah. So it does release a little oils, but it's, this is closer to the green bean. So it just depends on what people like, right? We did, Carla? Do we want to go over all of them? Which ones did we not mention? All right, just give us, some, give us your notes. So number one is the uh, uh, India. I'm not going to tell you oh, what's on the front. You tell okay. me what you got. I um, said that it was citrusy. Oh. Almost a little watery. Okay. But not in a bad way. Uh-huh. Uh, it wasn't too dark tasting. Uh -huh. And it kind of was just like a generic basic uh -huh. coffee taste. So you said the Indian was cit uh, you had you say citrus? Uh, has note of lemon? Would be I Indian. actually wrote down lemon. Sweet and citric lemon toffee chocolate. And it is a medium roast from India. Four right? was yours and I said I had something to say about it. Okay, what do you guys <laughs> I put the notes, but not because I like it. It's not bad. It's just it wasn't really your favorite. It really was. I what <laughs> 
We had not just had a grapefruit the other day, and you went, no, I will not even take a bite. It would I be don't funny. like grapefruit. One word was sour. Yeah. Like, I thought some of the other well, ones were sour. This was sour. See, where you got sour, I got uh, fruity and floral. It was very light. It was very, very light. Oh, wow. Powder. It smells very different. I guess it's because it's light roast. I also got roast. lemon from this one. I wrote that it was kind of a non-traditional coffee taste. Like, I don't see that to be your basic coffee in the morning taste. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I wrote down that it was better accompanied by the creamer. I liked it better with the creamer. Okay. But it was sour. Let's go. So this is one you'd like to have with cream in the morning, right? Go to work is number five. Yes. So we'll make some pour over and French But bricks. I do feel a lot yeah, of them that I know was in each one. So now that you've seen the front. Yeah, now that I've seen the front, you would have to change your creamers a little bit to make. So like French vanilla for some of them, but like hazelnut for another, or plain cream, or, or you know, yeah. sweet cream, or chocolate. Yeah. Or, or just like just like a little sugar with just a little gotcha. bit of milk. Because like on the grapefruit one. What's it on your nose? <laughs> I'm joining mom. <laughs> I think if I'd added just almond milk with uh -huh. a little sugar, uh -huh. that would have helped. Gotcha. But well, adding... Or, or what syrup we would put in it. Yeah, definitely. As far as stuff No, just I've smell. I've got to watch how one. they all smell. That's what I was going to say what we thought about the smell. What do you do when coffee beans are what's supposed to cleanse here's, your smell palate here's two. you're smelling coffee beans? <laughs> Good point. I was already planning to buy uh, one of the big bags from Sterling of the uh, Columbian. Yes, because we really like Yeah, them. I like the Colombian. Colombian, I guess, I mean, so they're not missing out on oh, sure. review. Uh -huh. The Colombian also just was like a good generic coffee yeah, taste. Yeah, I mean, I mean, most people would use Wait, so, so I, two, we, three, we and five. Wait, so we our overall winner. Well, it sounds like... Two and five would be tied. Well, five got two first place votes, right? Mm -hmm. So five was a winner. Oh, yeah. You Where'd know what I'm saying? five? A five wasn't in my top two. I might have put, I would say I'd put five at number three. I will say, in addition to the Colombian, Sterling has three more countries or that I didn't get because the notes on them didn't sound like stuff we would like, but I still may order the samples just to, so we can see, yeah. do a second round. Sure. Um, so we'll definitely be buying a big bag of Ethiopian medium roast washed Guji, 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 Guji. <laughs> Gucci. It just came to my mind. What's okay. So this is, um, by the way, these sample bags are four ounces. Those it's are really sample cool. Sample bags? Sample bags. And on the back, they have, bags. yeah, they're a lot bigger. They have the preferred brood method. Well, choose a brood method, but then they have the water temperature or how many tablespoons of ground beans. So what were we going to give second place to? Now, you, you and I both liked. We both had second for, we have both had number two for second. And you didn't like. Two at all. You said too hot. When it went from cold to hot, it was better. It was better, okay. So, I'd like so, to say uh -huh. that my first place and second place both had a vote from y'all. So I think that means that I have the best place. Uh, Rodden, uh, Mandy, I'm curious whether or not the difference in the Ethiopians are just the uh, medium versus light roast. Although I know one says washed guji. I'm going to assume that means the bean name and washed limu. But yeah, so we'll try the other four flavors at some point on camera, right? We do that? We do some sort of espresso-ish video. Um, yes. Um, we'll, we'll keep you updated on how these sterling coffees do in our variety of different drinks, espresso drinks, and just pour over French press. And I'll try um, other products that we should like because I like we all should, of them. We should apply like the French vanilla lip balm and then drink coffee through it and see yeah. if that's, that's the thing. But this has been our sterling roastery um, coffee review, raking, cupping kind of thing. Sterlingroastery.com, roasted in Arkansas. Uh, check them out online uh, and Sterling Soap uh, as well. Um, but yeah, thanks, fam. I appreciate oh, I'm gonna it. Do it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And until next time, take care, man. That's me.